Autologous stem cell transplantation remains uh, the gold standard of treatment uh, for, for myeloma. Uh, we, we had at the last ASH meeting uh, um, another confirmation that uh, uh, for transplant eligible patients, autologous stem cell transplantation should be done upfront and not delayed. Uh, that was uh, the, the CAVO, the Italian study, Michele CAVO, and uh, actually currently uh, it's in press in the New England Journal of Medicine. The IFM study um, uh, showed the same. Uh, so there's no question that um, uh, autologous stem cell transplantation should be done uh, upfront. Um, in terms of conditioning regimen, we, we did not uh, uh, improve so, so that much so far. It's still melphalan high dose, 200 milligram per meter square. Uh, the Spanish uh, uh, tried to improve, adding busulfan, the, the so-called uh, melphalan plus busulfan uh, conditioning regimen. Um, the French, the IFM, uh, has, has just uh, uh, finished accrual uh, combining Velcade, bortezomib, plus melphalan in the setting of a conditioning regimen. Uh, I heard yesterday that uh, um, some uh, our colleagues are also combining two alkylating agents, bendamustine plus melphalan. And this afternoon you will hear uh, total marrow irradiation plus high-dose melphalan from um, uh, colleagues from Poland. So. No major change in this, in this, uh, in the, in, the, in terms of uh, the indication of uh, uh, autologous stem cell transplantation and the, and, and the regimen. Uh, however, the, the main, the main uh, treatment parad paradigm shift, <laughs> we, we, we may say, is is the the, the maintenance. Um, you may remember that a meta-analysis has been uh, presented at the last ASCO meeting uh, uh, by Michel Attal and, 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 uh, and Phil McCarty, uh, where they combined three studies, three uh, randomized prospective studies with lenalidomide maintenance post autologous stem cell transplantation versus no uh, uh, maintenance. And uh, there, there is a clear evidence that uh, you do improve uh, not only PFS but overall survival. And, uh, and, and that has been confirmed uh, by the Myeloma 11 uh, trial, the, 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 the English uh, trial, uh, showing uh, outstanding results uh, with lenalidomide maintenance um, with an improvement in PFS uh, so far. Um, but we, so we need more uh, follow up. And actually, that, that was uh, proven not only for transplant eligible but also transplant ineligible uh, patients. So, uh, so if you combine the meta-analysis plus the myeloma 11 uh, study, um, I think it's, 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 it's standard of care now, nowadays uh, to uh, give uh, lenalidomide maintenance post autologous stem cell transplantation and actually th this has been approved by the FDA in uh, uh, February uh, last month, so 2017, and uh, it is more or less approved uh, all through uh, Europe. So this is a, a very uh, important uh, change in the way we, we, we treat uh, myeloma patients. And uh, probably the, the, the remaining question is uh, okay uh, for uh, maintenance for Everybody, actually, it's, it's, it may be less effective for high-risk patients, uh, but the main question remains, uh, for how long? And, uh, and, uh, and that, that we may have an answer because um, in the, in the two main uh, phase three uh, trials, the, uh, the, the IFM, IFM slash the FCI study, and, and the, the maintenance was stopped at two years uh, because uh, we had some concern about the, 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 the safety, the, you know, the second primary malignancies, uh, while in the US, uh, uh, um, conducted by Phil McCarthy, uh, it was until progression. So uh, we, we will in the near future be able to answer or have some answers concerning how long uh, this maintenance uh, treatment uh, should be.